When you use delete to clear an element from an array, it doesn't actually remove the element, it just resets it to its default value. For example, here we have a uint array, and I've called delete on index 1. Let's say that my intention was to remove the element at 1 and then shrink the array. But instead, I get an array that looks like this. I wanted to remove the element at 1, but instead it was reset to its default value. However, what I wanted instead was an array that would look something like this. 1, element is deleted, and 3. So in this video, I'll show you one method to remove an element from an array and also shrink the length of the array. The basic idea of this method is to shift all elements to the left and then pop the last element. For example, let's say that we have an array of 1, 2, 3, and I want to remove the element at index 1. So I want to remove 2. Then what do we do here? We shift all of the elements to the left, starting at index plus 1. We want to remove the second element, which is at index 1. So we will copy the element from the right, which will be 3. And then finally, we remove the last element, which is 3, and we end up with an array 1 and 3. This is the array that we wanted when we called remove. To give you another example, here I have an array from elements 1 to 6, and I want to remove the element at index 2. So this will be 3. I shift all of the elements to the right of the index that I want to remove over to the left. So I will move all of this 4, 5, 6 over 1 to the left, and I will get an array like this. 1, 2, 4. It used to be 3, but we copied over one element from the right, so now it is 4. 5, 6, and then the last element is still 6. We remove the last element, and we end up with the array 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. Here we wanted to remove the second element, which is 3. And if you look at the array over here, we have successfully removed the second element, which is 3. And we have also shrinked the array by 1. To recap the algorithm, we copied elements from right to left, starting at the element 1 right to the one that we want to remove. And after we're done copying each element, we remove the last element. Let's also look at an example of an edge case. What happens if there is only one element and we want to remove this element? So here we have an array with only one element being 1. And we want to remove the first element, or index 0. We shift over all of the elements to the right of 1, which doesn't exist. And then we remove the last element, which will be 1. So we will end up with an empty array. Let's now write this algorithm. The first thing that we'll do is make sure that the index is less than the length of the array. So we'll type require the input index should be less than the length of the array. So I'll type r dot length. And if the index is out of bounds, we'll throw an error message saying index out of bound. Next, we'll copy array elements from right to left, starting at the index to remove. So we'll run a for loop by typing for uint starting at i is equal to the index that we're going to be removing, all the way up to the second to last element in the array. So while i is less than r dot length minus 1, we'll increment the index. We'll copy the elements from right to left by typing r dot i is equal to one element to the right, which will be r of i plus 1. Once this for loop is done executing, we would have an array that looks like this. Or if we had an array that looks like this to begin with, then we would have an array that looks like this. We've shifted all of the array elements to the left, starting at one right to the index that we want to remove. The last step to complete this algorithm is to remove the last duplicate at the end of the array. And we'll do that by typing r.pop. And that completes the function to remove an array element at a specific index. Let's verify that this algorithm works correctly. I'll write a test and name it test. It's going to be external. Later, we'll compile this contract, deploy it, and then call this test function to make sure that the algorithm above works correctly. We'll start with the array having five elements, one, two, three, four, and five, and then remove the second element. So we're going to be removing three. 
Once we remove the second element, our array should look like this. We will check that the array is indeed equal to 1, 2, 4, and 5 by running assert on each element from 0 to 3, and then lastly checking that the array length is equal to 4. Let's also check the edge case for removing one element and ending up with an empty array. We will assign the array to have one element and then remove the only element so that we should end up with an empty array. So the check that we will have to do over here is check that the length of the array is equal to zero. Let's compile this, deploy it, and then run the test. So I'll hit Control S to compile the contract. Once the contract is compiled, I'll deploy it. Deploy, scroll down, expand the contract, and then we'll call the test. And you can see here that the test passed. In summary, this is one way to remove an element from an array. Shift array elements to the left, and then remove the last element.